As a NASCAR fan, I have loved the 2023 season. Kyle Busch looks to be in line to win another championship. My dude in the truck series, Carson Hoshevar, recently got to make his cup debut. And uh, Corey LaJoy is having a pretty good season, all things considered, for Spire Motorsports. Today we have 2023 uh, Don Russ Racing. This is our first NASCAR set of the 2023 season. Let's get into it, race fans. Collectors, start your engines. What's going on, everybody? RGL coming at you. And today we have our first NASCAR release of 2023. This is Don Russ. Maybe not the, not the most glamorous, not the most glitzy release, but hey, we got something finally from Panini. It's about damn time. And the cycle is going to start all over. Uh, Chronicles and then Prism and then NT should be here sometime this year. Hopefully right before Kyle Busch wins a championship. He is looking good this season. And uh, the guy I'm up against every year, Kyle Larson, has uh, DNF'd a ton of races. It has been an awesome, awesome NASCAR season. A lot of action. It has been so much damn fun this season. I think this is the best season, in my opinion, in recent memory. And so I have been loving all things racing, not just NASCAR. We have a great Dirt series on Hulu. Uh, Vice recently put out a really, really great documentary on the Lost Speedways of the Carolinas. There is so much cool racing stuff going on right now. But today, we are checking out Don Russ. This one was uh, releasing last Wednesday. Sold out on Panini's website for 72 bucks. I expect that you will be able to find them at your LCS for somewhere in the $75 to $90 range. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe a hundred's not out of the question. I would probably try to stick in that $80 range to try and find a box of this. One autograph, two memorabilia per box, and a whole slew of case hits. A ton of case hits. So I'm going to be fully honest. This is the fourth box I've opened because uh, <laughs> I love racing and, and it's a cheap fun rip. Uh, Downtowns are back in. What What is that? Downtown slingshots and more. Turn it over on the back. You just have this giant list. So if you are looking, if you're looking to see what's on the back, it's right here. All the case hits are right here. So downtown slingshot, watercolor, out of this world, let's go, blackout, blank slate, badge of honor, and marvels. That is a lot of case hits. We want more. Uh, I've opened four box. I've already hit a blackout. Uh, and it looks pretty cool. Um, so... It's Don Russ, so it's not going to be the best. Our Don Russ design this year is uh, not growing on me, but I can say this product is damn sure going to be a lot better than Don Russ Baseball, which we recently opened here on the channel. And maybe uh, some of you will disagree with me because you like the prospect cards, but I don't know. This Don Russ design this, with these 90s, this 90s design that we're seeing, I don't know. We are going to get uh, 24 packs. 10 cards per pack, I believe, and every pack should have a, uh, every pack should have a, uh, optic in it as well. There's a look at the design, kind of blocky this year. Yeah, I'm not, not necessarily a huge fan of it. There's a Race Kings of Bubba. There's a 1990s design that we need to retire and leave in the 90s. Our auto, no, that's going to be a royalty, and that is going to be a royalty fireworks of Daryl Waltrip. Our first, uh, chrome is going to be an optic of Keselowski. Now, I don't mind, as much as I don't like that 90s design, I don't really mind that design too much in the optic. It kind of reminds me of 1617 optic, which was the first year of optic, I believe. Um, but yeah, these, nothing but... We have a redemption. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did anybody see that? Because I didn't. I said, hold up. Wait a minute. I actually didn't. This is going to be our auto getting out of the way early today. 75th anniversary signatures. Now, I did pull a Dale Jr. in one of those boxes that I opened off camera. And now I've got Danica as well. Definitely didn't need to add a Danica to my collection, but uh, I have another Danica auto to add to my collection. <laughs> uh, that's uh, just a staple of Don Russ, I guess. Staple of NASCAR from Panini. So much Danica auto, so many Danica cards. Hey, it, it could be worse. It could be much worse. Uh, Kevin Harvick is going to be the, uh, these are the silver non-numbered under the lights. That is Jeff Gordon. Pretty cool looking card right there. Race Kings optic of, uh, Harvick. Final year for Harvick this season. I would really like to see him get a win before he retires. It'd be cool if he picks up a win here. There's my dude Kyle Busch, uh, Biffle, Sam Mayer. 
uh, Ray Black. It's going to be a silver of Di uh, Diamonetto. It's going to be a uh, Elite Series Ryan Blaney. He got a he got a really good win this year. Blaney looking good. He's young. I thought he was so much older. I think he's like 29 years old. I thought he was way older than that for as long as he's been in the Cup Series. Speaking of old, it's uh, Mike Harmon. I believe he's like 62 years old. He had a rookie card a couple years ago. Uh, Kurt Busch, there's Dale, Josh Berry, uh, Austin Sindrick. A lot of talk around Josh Berry. Kind of the super fill-in for Hendrick. Uh, Unleashed. Unleashed is in. Unleashed look good. We've seen that design in the past before. I'm waiting to see if I can find a 101 or a numbered Unleashed. I would really like to see. I'm going to be honest. I would really like to see a downtown. I think Kyle Busch might be have his first downtown this year. It's been way too long. Uh, that's going to be... Oh, that's going to be a good one, actually. Uh, Bridinger to 99. So not only uh, did she recently make her Truck Series debut. Actually, she's been running better than Haley this year. Haley's having a disastrous season in trucks. She just got in and hit the apron. We saw that in qualifying. A couple of trucks did that. But uh, she's also a Victoria's Secret model. So definitely some hype on her stuff. Her stuff does sell. Uh, that is going to be an Under the Lights of Denny. And then a Bill Elliott, my grandpa's favorite driver. So I grew up... I grew up like in NASCAR because of my grandpa. Uh, my grandpa's been, he's no longer with us. It's been about 17, 18 years now. Um, but man, growing up, I remember our favorite drivers were Dale Sr. and Bill Elliott. Those were our two drivers. Uh, we have a Tanner Gray to five. That is a top five parallel right there of Tanner Gray. I don't know much about Tanner Gray. He might drive an Xfinity or drive trucks, but I'm not familiar with him. Uh, that's going to be Kurt on the Elite Series. And uh, that's going to be uh, Takuma Koga. I don't know anything about him either. So some new names, some fresh names in this product. Um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of kids from the trucks have made it on in. Uh, where you have to have money in order to race trucks. That's, uh, that's the saying this year. Eric Jones, uh, Landon Castle, uh, Kyle Larson. That's going to be Ross Chastain. Everybody's favorite Ross Chastain on the race day relics. Nice piece of tire in there. I'm going to smell it. Yeah, oh yeah, it, smell, it smells like a Les Schwab to me. Smells like walking in to get a fresh set of tires at a Les Schwab to me. Non-numbered, one of our two mems on the race day relics. Uh, we have Greg Biffle. That's going to be Christopher Bell. Very, very poorly cut. Funny. And uh, Chris Boucher. Big fan of here on YouTube. You know, if you follow any NASCAR drivers on YouTube. or uh, Number one, I like Haley Deegan's blog. I like Kyle Busch's uh, for his son. Uh, and then also Eric Estep here on... Uh, on YouTube, he's my go-to for for NASCAR news. I watch him almost daily. He does a, a video series called Out of the Groove, and it is fantastic. So I'll try to remember to put the link in the description. We have an unleashed of Kyle Larson. I think I know whose PC that belongs to, and Danny Hamlin on the hollow. Those unleashed are pretty cool. So we just had the off week uh, not too long ago, missing NASCAR every Sunday. Try to wake up. You know, we break until four or five in the morning. I always try to be up by noon. You know, every time I, I roll into bed after a break night, you know, Sunday morning, 5.36 in the morning, get a few hours sleep, and then got to be up at noon for race day. Kurt Busch right there. That's going to be Kyle Weatherman. Uh, under the lights of Harvick. And then Alec Bowman. Alex Bowman. So leave me a comment if you've ripped any of this. What has been your best hit so far? Be curious to know if you've hit a downtown or a case hit. Uh, Justin Bonsick. I don't know who that is. Uh, Ross Chastain, Justin Haley. We have a Race Kings of Alex Bowman. And yes, they did make a Race Queens set this year as well. Elite Series of Dale and uh, Blaney. 24 packs, 80 bucks. And you're paying like $3 a pack, a little over $3 a pack. It's a, it's a good product for... I mean, if you like racing, there's a whole... There's not a lot of Haley. Normally, these sets are full of Haley. Not a lot of Haley in this set this year. Well, we might have something here. That is going to be a good one. That's a PC card for me. That is a blackout of Ty Gibbs. Blackout case hit right there. Ty Gibbs. He is having a good season. Driving the 54, I believe. He's having a really good season, actually. Just kind of... He, he had a really strong... In the early season, he had a really strong run of finishes. Kind of just kind of dropped in the middle of the pack lately. But, uh, you know, first year... First full year in the Cup Series... He's, he's having a great year as far as I'm concerned. Alex Bowman, Ty Gibbs, staying out of people's way. That's what's important. Not making any enemies. Unlike, unlike Ross Chastain over there who half the field.
takes offense with him. Uh, there's Bradinger, Bell. Uh, Weatherman, Truex. How good has Truex been this year? Thought he was going to hang it up, and he's having a great year. Uh, that is going to be Tony Bradinger. Metal Masters of Kyle Larson. All these inserts, you know, with the firework effect, kind of the same. I wish they would do other effects. You know, maybe give us the uh, Etcher squares or the Mojo. You know, something. Do something other than these fireworks because we see them every year. So if, if uh, anyway, if Panini is watching, I know you guys have the NASCAR license for way longer than you have the NFL and the NBA licenses. If you guys want to switch it up and make it better for us race fans, put a little more effort into the inserts because I really want to like the inserts. Some of the inserts from Prism are great. But uh, some of these are tired, so we can we can retire the Race Kings and some of the other ones. Uh, and we could do something different. Oh, wow, this is a Bradinger box. A lot of value back right here. Bradinger to 49. Again, her stuff does sell reasonably well. Haley's stuff sells well too, but she's not having a good year. Uh, that is going to be a uh, Metal Masters of uh, Kurt Busch. And uh, Ty Gibbs on the Hollow. Still got like half the box left. This is just a fun rip. A lot of packs. 80 bucks. We hit Danica Auto. That's always good for 15, 20 bucks. It is that 75th anniversary parallel or insert set as well. Uh, Ryan Newman. Um, that's going to be Ryan Newman again. Kurt Bush under the lights. We've hit a lot of Kurt Bush. A lot of Bush and a lot of Bradinger so far. Eric Jones on the hollow. I would like to see an optic, you know, a gold, you know, because you can't hit golds. And I think there's a gold vinyl 101 as well. Would like to see. I've, I've opened like four boxes now, and I haven't really seen any color on those optics. Um, and and again, because it is so many cards, you do start to see some duplicates. Uh, Suarez uh, driving the Tootsie's car that is to two ninety nine. Chase Elliott, he's gonna have to win a race if he wants to be in the uh, in the playoffs because he is way behind on points as of recording this video. So hopefully he gets one, which you know gets a win, which would mean he automatically has an a spot in the playoffs. Do we have another blackout here? No, we don't. Thought we had another case hit. I don't know if you can hit multiple case hits in the same box. I haven't watched enough of this stuff get opened, um, but I haven't personally hit one. Metal Masters, Kevin Harvick, and uh, Brad Keselowski. So we hit our auto. We're looking for one more mem. It feels like it's in this pack right here. Does feel like, oh, it's in here. All right. Um, Paul Menard, Kurt Busch, uh, Harry Gant, uh, Race Kings of Byron. Trex on the retro, ma'am. And again, nice piece of the tire. That is numbered to 250. I'll smell it. Oh, yeah. Smells like a tire. I don't know why. I don't know what else I expect it to smell like. Uh, Natalie Decker having a disaster season. Smoke. And uh, Eric Jones. There's another Larson. Harvick. So you just see the same names over and over. Uh, Cindric, we have another blackout. We might no, I don't know what that is. Josh Berry, uh, we've got a Chase Briscoe to do 99. That's gonna be an under the. Is that an under the lights? No, that is a revved up, revved up of Keselowski and a hollow of Boucher. So you get several numbered cards per box. You get the two autos or two mems, one auto. A lot of non-numbered, you know, silvers. Uh, see what we can find here at the end. Good value with the two Bradingers and the case hit. Uh, would like to see one more nice card to finish it. There's Cole Custer. Richard Petty, the king, on the power squad. And uh, Ross Chastain. Those are called bomb squads over in baseball. Power squads and unleashed. Good additions. But we can do a little bit more with these inserts. Uh, Wuju, Matt Snyder, Chase Elliott. More race kings. John Hunter Nemechek. One thing that I haven't actually checked on, you know, in the in the baseball version of uh, this 2023 Donruss, they did a lot of like reverse images and things like that, just a nod to all the errors in the original Donruss from '90. I haven't really noticed. So as I record some of these things like that, kind of get past me. Martin Truex on the Power Squad that is numbered to 199. So if you're ever wondering, you know, I'm I'm trying to focus on the cards. I'm also trying to, you know get a piece of content in in a certain time frame you know i know a box like this goes long so i'm not glaring and, and taking you know taking all the cards in once once the cameras are off and the video is over i spend more time with the cards just kind of sorting them um but as we go i usually tend to miss like little things like those like reverse negative in images uh to 199 jeremy clements on the blue it's gonna be an under the lights of blaney 
and then Chase Elliott on the Race Kings Hollow. Coming down to the wire here, last lap, three packs left. See if this box has anything left for us. I'll probably be opening several more boxes of this stuff off camera. Reddick right there on the um, front, or on the uh, silver. Power Squad of Kurt Busch and the King again on the Hollow or on the Optic. Two packs left. Come on, give us a sweat. Just show me a color on the back there. Would love to just have a color or a gold vinyl 101. I'm I'm not greedy or anything. Michael McDowell, uh, Alex Bowman. That's gonna be Paul Menard. Uh, Kyle Bo Kyle Larson is gonna be on the silver. Under the lights, there's Kyle Busch. There he is, and that is numbered for the PC. Kyle Busch to 199. Uh, Dale Jr. on the hollow and another win a trip to Daytona, I believe it says. I don't, I've seen so many of those and I actually don't know what it says. <laughs> I, I just, I'm so numb to them. Uh, Tanner Gray, there's a Kyle Bush. Jeff Gordon is going to be numbered to 299. We have Jimmy Johnson on the revved up and uh, we're going to end it with the uh, Austin Dillon. So, I mean, this box was, I would actually say this box was slightly above average. You just get a, you know, big stack of optics, which are always nice. I actually would like to see optics as a standalone set too, Panini. So, you can go ahead and make us, give us optic. You can give us select racing back too. We had select racing in 2017. I didn't forget. You get a whole slew of inserts and silvers and base. But the hits today, take a look at them right here. You got a bunch of numbered stuff. Um bunch of numbered stuff a couple of mems a number to five of tanner gray that one's probably i don't know five bucks ten bucks i again i know nothing about him but i'm sure there's a fan or two out there who super collects him our big hits today we had four pretty decent ones our auto was danica patrick probably good for a 15 to 20 spot paying for a quarter of the box right there uh bradinger to 49 we had a blackout ty gibbs i'm gonna guess that probably pays for another quarter of the box right there and then the two Bradingers as well, one to 99 and one to 49. So somebody, some Bradinger fan out there is going to have a nice little chunk of the rainbow completed right here. So that is Don Russ Racing. I know it's not for everybody. I know it's the worst of all the racing sets we get. Our next set should be Chronicles in a couple of months, and that's the good one. Then we get Prism and uh, NT. So we only get four NASCAR sets every year. I would love to see a fifth get thrown into the rotation. I would love to see Panini pare down some of that baseball and uh, focus on some of their other licenses. I would love to have Select back. I would love another high-end set. Give us Obsidian Racing. Get that out of Chronicles. Give us Spectra Racing. Give us something new, because uh, I would really like something new as a racing fan. Now, I know a lot of people are going to watch this video. Even if you're not a racing fan, hey, thank you for watching. Um, and, and yeah, maybe you're thinking, well, we don't need any more racing cards. No, we absolutely do. Huge racing fan, and uh, recently, in the last couple of years, Really, doing the channel has kind of reignited my love uh, for racing cards. Because I used to love these things as a kid. And then then as I realized that cards were worth, worth money and racing cards were worth nothing in the 90s, uh, then that's when it turned to just baseball, basketball, and football. And now, as I realize that, you know, opening a box of Donruss football is like $300 when they come out. Opening a box of Donruss racing when they come out is like $80. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So so I've really, this channel has reignited my love for racing cards from back when I was a kid and had Jeremy McGrath cards. You know, I had cards of, you know, motorcyclists. I had, you know, cars of Corvettes. I actually did an April Fool's Day uh, intro once of the Corvette set from like 1988 or something like that. So I used to have a bunch of cards with uh, cars and NASCAR and, you know, IndyCar. I just, I used to love car, car cards as a kid. And now I like him again as a 37-year-old YouTuber. That's going to do it for me. Take care. Stay safe. And we'll catch you. We'll catch you when the checkered flag waves. I don't have a good way to end this one. See ya.